they seem like the picture-perfect family. We have a great life. Until a shattering murder. I can't even imagine the horror of what you saw. Her hands were duct taped. Her panties were down. She had a bullet hole right through the bridge of the nose. The killer left behind a witness, Sandra's five-year-old son. I need to talk to you about something that happened to your mother. Do you know what I'm talking about? David Martin was a Mercedes-Benz salesman in the Fort Worth area. On the days leading up to Sandra's murder, he kept receiving anonymous phone calls from a male caller. The person would call and no one would speak on the other end of the line. What police suspect is Williams probably scouted Sandra Martin and saw her playing with her children in the front yard and began stalking her for several days. He then decided to call David at work to make sure that he wasn't home. On the day of her murder, he did this, and once he realized that she was home alone with the children, he knew it was the perfect time and opportunity to attack her. Jay Thayer Williams, the man who was convicted of killing Sandra Martin, had a stepson and a daughter. His stepson was on the internet one day and came across an article which described the murder and said that Jay Williams had been charged. His fingerprints definitely linked him to the crime, but investigators were left with some unanswered questions. His stepson sprung into action and called the Fort Worth Police Department. He told Detective Hernandez that his childhood was marked by abuse and violence at the hands of Williams, and he thought that he could have been the one that committed this crime. By having his own stepson come forward and tell detectives that he was capable of committing such a terrible crime helped detectives understand who Jay Thayer Williams really was. On the surface, he was a successful businessman, but behind the scenes, he was violent and abusive. The day before Sandra Martin's murder, her husband David had a premonition that something terrible could happen to his wife. He expressed his concerns to her, and she said, don't worry about it, she just brushed it off. The next morning, he woke up and was still concerned. She looked at him and said, don't worry about it. When you're dead, you're dead, and there's nothing you can do about it. He then continued getting ready for work, went to work that day, and that was the last time he saw his wife alive. 